Good evening and welcome to Bình Phước Radio Television and Newspaper BBTV News. I'm Bích Thủy bringing you the latest update and stories from around the country. Stay with us for all the details. State President Lương Cường official visit to Chile. Enhancing emergency response at local level. Agroforestry fishery trade surplus jump over 62% in 10 months. Reserving Community Friendship Festival of Seeing People. Now, let's take a look at local news. Bình Phước Province recently organized the large scale fire prevention, firefighting, and rescue drill as part of an initiative to improve local emergency preparedness. The drill was jointly hosted by VRG Domwa MDF Company in Minh Hương 3 in the Chu Park, Chuan Thanh Town. It was designed to improve the leadership and coordination of local emergency teams in handling complex, large-scale situations. The exercise focused on the four on-site principles, command, personnel, equipment and logistics, all on-site to ensure immediate access to resources for mitigating fire risks, accidents and damage. In addition to strengthening the skills and coordination of local response teams, the drill also helped raise awareness about fire prevention and safety. Lộc Ninh District recently held a seminar to introduce the use of indigenous microorganisms for managing household waste across the district. The district has conducted 33 training sessions over the past year, reaching more than 1,600 residents and integrating the initiative into local educational programs and activities. So far, its commons have adopted the technique, applying it not only in farms to produce organic fertilizers, but also for treating household waste. As a result, participants have reported a 50% reduction in waste volume and virtually no unpleasant orders. The use of indigenous microorganisms is becoming a growing trend in organic farming and lobster production. Through the seminar, local residents learned about the model and how to expand its use. This approach will also be applied in production thus making the most of the available natural resources and contribute to environmental protection. Moving on to our next story, local authorities in Budang District, Bình Phước Province, are making special effort to preserve the Community Friendship Festival, an ancient cultural tradition of the Sing people, which is a streak of fading into oblivion. Budang is home to 34 ethnic groups, with ethnic minorities making up over 40% of the population. The still people alone account for 23% of the ethnic minority community. The unique community friendship festival has traditionally been celebrated by the Stiang, Mnong and Ma groups. This year, as part of the festival, it coincided with the rice powders in Bombo village. The event has been revived and expanded to include other ethnic groups like the Tay and Nung in an effort to preserve and promote the cultural values of all communities in the area. A highlight of the Community Friendship Festival is the special ritual for welcoming guests, with both hosts and guests communicating with each other through gong beating and folk singing. After making sacred offerings to the gods, community members exchange handcrafted gifts, each representing the culture. The celebration wraps up with communal sharing of rice wine, epic gongs, and the enjoyment of the gifts that have been exchanged. Turning around country news, State President Lung Cường is on official visit to Chile. The visit is made at the invitation of Chilean President Gabriel Boris Fong. State President Luong Quang and high-ranking delegation of Vietnam arrived in Santiago on November 9th afternoon local time, beginning their official visit to Chile. This is the first visit to Chile by a Vietnamese state president in 15 years. The trip will give impulse to help the Vietnam-Chile Comprehensive Partnership develop in a more intensive, practical and effective manner. 
The visit also demonstrates Vietnam's consistent policy of always treasuring and wishing to consolidate and promote the Vietnam-Chile relations. State President Luong Quang visited and talked with staff of the Vietnamese Embassy and representatives of the Vietnamese community in Chile on November 9th evening, local time, as part of their official visit to the Latin American country. The president commended and highly appreciated the efforts and achievements of the embassy, as well as the overseas Vietnamese community, in developing the Vietnam-Chile Comprehensive Partnership. He asked the embassy to continue to synchronously deploy activities of political diplomacy, economic diplomacy, cultural diplomacy and community work, with priorities being given to promoting the role of advising, accompanying and supporting the implementation of economic, trade and investment cooperation programs and projects between the two countries. State President Luong Quang said he hoped that the embassy will provide timely support for overseas Vietnamese in Chile. He expected that the Vietnamese community in Chile, despite its modest number, will always stay united, maintain close relations, keep regular contact, and enthusiastically participate in activities towards the homeland. Coming up now, we have reports on the activities by Prime Minister Phạm Minh Ching. On November 10th, in Hanoi, Prime Minister Chin chaired the first meeting of the Central Steering Committee for the Eradication of Temporary and Dilapidated Houses Nationwide. The leader, who is also head of the Steering Committee, said that, this is an all-people and comprehensive program of the entire political system. It aims to create a movement, trend, and festival to promote the achievement of goals, with all hearts and virtues for revolution contributors, poor households, and households affected by natural disasters," he added. Prime Minister Chin agreed to set up steering committees for the eradication of temporary and dilapidated houses at the provincial, district and commune levels. At present, the whole country still has about 315,000 households with housing difficulties, of which about 106,000 households have meritorious services to the revolution, 46,000 households belong to the national target programs, and 153,000 other poor and near-poor households. The government has set the goal of striving to complete the elimination of such houses nationwide in 2025, five years earlier than the initial target. In business news today, over 42% of survey enterprises in the processing manufacturing sector expect that the business performances in the fourth quarter of this year will be better than the third quarter. This is a result of a recent survey conducted by the General Statistics Office, with the participation of 30,587 enterprises nationwide. The survey also shows that 40.4% of the respondents said their business will remain stable and 17.4% of the firms foresaw more difficulties. Indicators such as new orders, employment and production outputs are also forecast to grow in the fourth quarter. Finally, we end today's news with the report from the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. According to the report, the agricultural, forestry and fishery trade surplus reached 15.2 billion USD in the first 10 months, up 62 percent compared to the same period last year. The sector's total export revenue amounted to 51.7 billion US dollars, an annual increase of 20 percent. Of the sum, Agricultural exports contributed the most with 27.4 billion US dollars, up 26% year on year. Livestock products earned 424 million US dollars, a 2.7% rise. Fishery and forestry export turnovers grew by 12% and 20% to stand at 8.3 billion US dollars and 4 billion US dollars, respectively. And salt exports brought in 4.6 million US dollars a slight decline of 0.2%. The U.S. remained Vietnam's largest market, occupying a 22% share, followed closely by China and Japan. Currently, six agricultural goods maintain trade surpluses exceeding 1 billion U.S. dollars. They are wood and woodwork products, fruits and vegetables, coffee, rice, shrimp, and trawfish. 
That's all for today edition of BBTV News. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bích Thủy wishing you a wonderful evening. Goodbye and see you next time.